It's likely that sometime during the course of your myeloma, you're going to become anemic. So what is anemia? It means your red cell count is low. So what does that do to you if your red cell count is low? Well, red cells carry oxygen. So if you don't have enough oxygen, as you know, you're going to feel weak and tired. So we're going to do everything we can to prevent that. But it turns out there are a lot of reasons that may be occurring in a myeloma patient. It could be the myeloma itself is making it so you can't make red cells in your bone marrow. After all, the red cells are made there and the myeloma cells are lurking there. They may shut off your ability to make red cells as they crowd out the bone marrow. It could be the treatment, chemotherapy or radiation. It can shut off red cell production. It also may be that your kidneys aren't working right from your myeloma or other causes, and so you're not making the growth protein, we call EPO, for red cell production. Without that, you're going to become anemic as well. So how do we monitor it? We simply measure in your blood the number of red cells. We call that your hemoglobin, your hematocrit, or your RBC count. If the count is low enough, we're going to want to either transfuse you or we're going to give you supplements to help prevent anemia. The best one we have right now is called EPO or erythropoietin. This is in several forms today, either Aranes or Procrit, and these can boost your hemoglobin level. But we also have learned over the last several years that many patients with myeloma are iron deficient. And in fact, simply giving EPO isn't enough. They need iron as well, especially IV iron. Now, with lots and lots of transfusions, however, if the EPO doesn't work, you may become iron overloaded and cause you to be, in fact, have problems in your heart, your liver, other major organs. And we have drugs to help with that called XJ. Proper monitoring of your hemoglobin is a key to long-term success with your myeloma treatment. Recently, there's concern with the use of erythropoietin or EPO in patients with myeloma and other cancers that perhaps it's actually speeding up the cancer's growth and shortening the survival of cancer patients. There are studies looking at this. Some have shown that's true, some have not. And for that reason, we don't want to go overboard with the use of drugs like Procrit or Aronis. Your doctor will work with you to make sure you're only receiving it when you absolutely need to. So we want to make sure that you have proper levels of circulating red cells so you have good energy, but we don't want to overdo it. So make sure that your doctors are measuring that hemoglobin level on a regular basis and treating you with either drugs like Procrit or Aronis or, if need be, transfusions so you have good energy.